Hey, many fish. It's the fourth day of August 2018. And frankly, the first day I've had in several to sit down and do some study. And it just came upon me here to uh, do this message. Um, it came about in kind of a weird way over the last few days. Um, but I've been feeling it coming as I've been seeing these things kind of come together. And uh, seeing this article this morning really summed it up. And I'll try and explain what I mean. It, it basically started with this article about these crown jewels being stolen by these two thieves. Okay, I looked at that and there are... Uh, there's a lot in this, believe me, the 17, the 53, the 153, but I wasn't sure what I was seeing here because on the same day, I was coming across multiple articles with the crown in it. The thousand days, thousand years is a day. All on the same day, these came out, all talking about the crown. But this one really stuck in my spirit. And this one here, when this came out, same day, um, I knew that there was a message here, okay? Triple crown winner, justify, okay? So what ended up happening is I go away, I come back. It's just the strange stuff that usually goes along with this stuff, but, you know, that's how God works. It's like sometimes we don't understand what he's trying to say, but this has been put upon me this morning to put this out as basically a warning uh, primarily to the non-believers and especially the Jews who never accepted Christ okay and there's a reason for that this all just came together like this so okay the one who justifies that is Christ Christ was explained and described in detail six seven hundred years before his coming in Isaiah 53 which incidentally happens to be a very uh, avoided and misinterpreted uh, chapter in in scripture for the Jews um, I know this I don't know all the details but I do know that this is a contentious chapter of scripture for the Jews because it describes in perfect perfect uh, detail Christ's coming the king coming, the savior coming, the messiah coming, and he shall save many, okay? He will justify them, and I saw this justify uh, just coming out saying that justify the horse is retiring this time for good, okay? So the crown winner, the triple crown winner justifies. There's only one who justifies, right? And he is coming back, okay? Not just to Kentucky. <laughs> and this time, he's coming back for the good, for the righteous, for the bride, okay? This is how I read this. But the warning is to the Jews and the non-believers because their crown is about to be stolen. Essentially, that's how it interprets to me. The two thieves on the cross with Christ. Okay, you got to read this stuff because it just, it, it explains everything. And there were two of them and they were both hanged, hanged, railed on him saying, If thou be the Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answered and rebuked him saying, Don't you fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive due reward for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Okay, and then he, he believes Jesus. And he is saved. Okay, and the other mocks and denies him and is condemned. Okay, this is the state of non-believers and Jews. Essentially, you are condemned until you understand and accept the messiah not just your messiah this is the messiah of the world okay so the crown the thieves 
let no man take your crown, came to my mind immediately. Revelation 3.11. Now, <laughs> you got to understand all this stuff, right? Th this article came out on the 1st, okay? And the Justify retiring also came out on the 1st. Justify won the triple crown, right? And when he did, he, he won it on the uh, 9th of June. 6-9. Okay? Justify. Triple crown. 6-9. Well, it was 53 days until this article about the um, crown being stolen. Okay? The jewels. This is just how I get this stuff, you guys. In the 17th century, which is 53. 53 is the 17th prime. You add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so on, up to 17. You wind up with 153. The fish in the net. Caught on the right side of the boat. Okay? Jesus had on at the cross, he had one on his right and one on his left. This makes a big difference. It's You have to look into the meanings of these words. But from June 9th, when Justify won the Triple Crown, until these crown jewels were stolen, is 53 days. Isaiah 53. Okay, the one righteous servant will justify many. Okay, and the only reason this is really important is because this came to me yesterday, was that between this point where these jewels are stolen on the 1st and Rosh Hashanah, the end of the year, the end of the Jubilee is 40 days. And because this morning I wasn't sure what I was seeing these past couple days, and this morning I see this article about this whale shark caught in fishing rope, and you read this, and a whale shark is what I believe Jonah was swallowed up in. It's the largest fish. A whale isn't a fish. Okay, this is just how my mind works, you know what I mean? And it's 40 days until Rosh Hashanah, the end of the Jubilee year. Uh, this is just how I see it. It's a warning to the Jews, particularly in Israel. So, I mean, I don't know. I just have to do this. Um, you got 40 days, as far as this is saying. And the problem is, is, is Jesus could come back at any moment. You need to, you need to believe on him now. You need to understand that he came to justify the world. He, he is the only one who can justify. All right. Just understand that. I mean, this is critical. So if you don't know Jesus, seriously, seek him. Understand that this spiritual war is coming to the natural world and then you're going to be ensnared. It's going to become so overwhelming that you're not going to be able to really get to know him. So just get quiet with the Bible and call on him. Ask him to show you the truth. Ask him to shine his light into this darkness and give you life because he's the only one that can do it. I'm just telling you through sheer experience, he's the only one that can do it. You know, and I mean, why am I? It's just amazing. All these articles about crowns all on the same day. Crowns, crowns, crowns. Justify the triple crown. From June 9th <laughs> To the day that the crowns are stolen is 53 days. And the Jews just refuse to accept Isaiah 53 for what it is. For what it obviously is. And they reject him. They deny him. And this is bad. This is really bad. So I have to tell you these things. It's just the way it is. You know, and I was looking for confirmation, and the fish article just really kind of sewed it up for me. But, I mean, there's even more attached to this. It's amazing. 
from from this very day of these crown jewels being stolen right i showed you 53 days back to where justify won the triple crown right 40 days until Rosh Hashanah. Get this. 311 days since the great sign of Revelation 12. Revelation 3. 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Revelation 3. 11. And this coincides perfectly with the marriage because I was looking this is just how things work with me guys okay Song of Solomon 311 for the Jews go forth O ye daughters of Zion ye daughters that means the apple of his eye and behold King Solomon okay, King Solomon 801081 is David's successor with the crown the crown where when his mother we look at mother, it's father, that's, that's just what it means from H1, father in a literal and immediate or phys figurative crowned him in the day of his espousals, his wedding, and in the day of the gladness of his heart, his return. So this is coming. He is coming. I'm just telling you. This is just the way it's put on me to put out there. Jesus is coming, and if you don't accept him, things are not going to go smoothly for you. Just call on Jesus. Ask him for the truth. No matter what your belief system is, you need to realize that, you know, you're at the end of the road, okay? <laughs> and this is the best way I know how to put it. So I hope that this makes sense and help someone. Shabbat Shalom. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 